and welcome to Minerik U, training in 60 seconds. Surprisingly, speed and torque are not usually the limiting factor in sizing motion control systems. Typically, the more key issue is a term known as the inertia ratio. Also known as reflected inertia, it involves comparing the inertia of the load to the inertia of the rotor of the motor. A high ratio may mean the motor is too small. The motor may have enough torque to move the load, but it will not be able to accelerate or decelerate quickly, drastically limiting the move profiles that are possible. If the inertia ratio is too high, the system may not tune, might feel spongy, may drop steps, or simply fault on desired moves. The widely practiced safe maximum inertia ratio is around 10 to 1. On the other hand, if the rotor inertia nears that of the load, it may mean that the motor is larger than it needs to be. Then, it's likely that a smaller motor could do the same job for less cost. Minimum inertia ratios can approach 1 to 1, but rarely need to be lower. Inertia ratios can be reduced with gear reducers, pulley reductions, etc. We'll cover that in the next segment. That does it for this training minute. Thanks for watching.